Hi everyone, it's Karen. This is just a super quick video to show you how to save your files, um, your Silhouette files, to your hard drive and to the library and all the different options that are in the, this file saving features. So I have Silhouette Studio started here. I'm going to open up a file for my library. Mine is showing a couple of different addresses because I was using um, a different address previously. But I'm just going to look in my user designs here. So this is something that I was working on for my planner. And once I have it on my screen, you have to open the file from your library, from the cloud, wherever it's located. Then you choose File, hover over Save As, and then choose Save to Hard Drive. So I'm just going to call leave the name as it is and I'm going to leave it as a Silhouette Studio version 3 file and I'm going to click OK. So if I go and look at that folder my file is here. If I want to save it to the library as well again I choose file I hover over save as and I'm going to click Save to Library. And then I can put that in my library where I want it. So I'm just going to click Cancel. If I click File, Save As, and I don't choose one of these options, in other words, if I just come up here and choose File and click Save As, nothing happens. That could be why you're not getting anything you have to hover over Save As and then choose Save to Hard Drive or Save to Library. You can also just make some changes on your file. Let's say I remove this part and then I choose Save. What that's going to do is it's going to save this modified version to the library. If I go and look at the library now, you'll see that my modified version has been saved. This does not save to my hard drive. If I want to save to my hard drive, I absolutely have to tell the program to do that. And to do that is save as and then save to hard drive. And then you have to go and tell the program where to save it. And the best is to set up a folder for yourself so that you always know where your cutting files are. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please post them below the video or join my Silhouette Education group and ask them there. Thanks so much for watching.